hello and viewers. Welcome back to the channel. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you know what today is. Today is experiment time and we are taking Erling Haaland and we're putting him in the Vanarama National League South, which is, of course we are. Football Manager 21's just come out, so what, what, what else could you do at this point? So if we go to the Vanarama National League South and go to Bath City, you can notice their key player has somewhat changed, and that man then is Erling Haaland. And you can see there, one of the best young prospects in world football, maybe the best young prospect in world football. The goals he scores at a consistent level for Dortmund and, and has done previously at other teams has been sensational. You can see there then his history. Started at Bern in Norway, then went to Molde, then to Salzburg, uh, Dortmund after that, and then here he is at Bath. City and he's trapped at Bath City. He's locked in at Bath City until 2035, and that's where this video then, or these these this series, will be broken up into three parts. We'll look at each five-year process and see what he does in each five years. So today we're going to look at the first five years, uh, and then in the next video we'll look at the next five years, and we'll see what he can do at Bath. How much will his form affect? The culture at Bath City, how will it, he improve potentially? Hopefully a lot, right? Like, If you're a Bath player now, you're probably delighted. You've got to say, one of the hottest prospects in world football. He's on £1,000 a week. I've put it at a pretty high level for the standard of football. I, th I thought to myself, I've got to level it out somewhat, Ben. If you're going to have Haaland, you're going to have to pay a premium at this level to have him. And uh, so Bath are paying a fair amount here. If you look at the rest of the Bath players, uh, they're most of them part-time. Haaland is full-time and is on that little bit more. But when you have 34 million, that's that's the way it has to be, I'm afraid. Disappointingly, uh, it doesn't say that he's a, got a favourite club of Burn, which is a little bit disappointing. Of course, born in Leeds, so back in England is uh, is Haaland. Maybe he would love to go to Leeds one day, but as I say, I've got him going back to Burn at the end of this 15-year contract. Uh, it's longer than Pardews at Newcastle. That's how, that's how you know how serious it is. So as a result of Haaland being there, Bath have gone from what is a pretty mid-table side, it feels like, to now being the favourites for promotion. So hopefully, we'll see them promoted in Season 1. And if not, well, why not? Let's go to Season 1 then. Let's find out what's been achieved by Erling and the boys at Bath. Okay, I've come to the 27th of July, 2021, and I noticed that Bath are not in the Vanarama, Vanarama National League South. Let's just see what they do. They, they've blitzed it. Um, they've scored 72 goals, only a couple more than Dulwich Hamlet. Whether this is the Haaland effect or not, I guess we'll take a look at him in a minute. 21 points clear, though. Um, it's fair to say he's had an effect there, viewers. Let's look at the awards. Ah, yes. 32 appearances, 12 goals, uh, sorry, 28 goals, 12 assists, 40 goal contributions in 32 games. That's impressive. There's the main man, still loving it at Bath. He's, cle he's clean every day, viewers. 17 Man of the Match awards and a 7.88 average rating. That is that's high even for Haaland at Bath, I feel like. So now Bath then have moved up to the Vanarama National League. And what is the effect? So I want to see where they are predicted to finish here. Okay, not in, not even close to the top. Of course, Haaland makes it into Team of the Year. They are 33-1 to 1 to be promoted from this division. So the National League might not quite be as simple as the the, the, the Vanarama South was. There's some sides, size, of course, that have come down from League 2 that make this the division a little bit stronger. And is he going to be able to pull that off? I just, I just noticed by the way he's been made vice captain. That took, that took some time. I feel like to make him vice captain. Uh, he's, but he's worked his way in there. Eleven leadership. Whether that's deserved, I'm not even sure, viewers. But so far, then 28 goals. Um, I thought, do you know what? It feel now I'm looking at it again. Does that seem low to anybody else? Maybe a little bit low. All right, let's go here in the future. Let's uh, let's see if he can do it better in the Vanarama uh, National and see if he can continue this mission with Bath to get them to. The Premier League in 10 years? Is that happening? All right, then. Back to 2022 now. And um, he's scoring lots of goals. Let's just... I'm going to do it the reverse way this time. More goals this season. More games, though. Uh, 7.65. Vanarama National. You can see they've done that again. They've stayed in the Vanarama. When did they finish, then? Haaland, 29 goals. Tennis. It must be the most in the National League. So, unsurprisingly, got player of the year. Uh, top goal scorer was him by only four goals. Andrew Nelson. Was ju he's just as good as Haaland in many ways. But where did they finish in the league table? That's what we want to find out, viewers. Okay. They actually did... Pretty well. 84 points when you consider where they were predicted at the very start of the season. We'll just take a look at their season. What happened towards the very end? Did they get into playoffs? They did. Playoffs against Harrogate. It was a 2-0 defeat to Harrogate. Absolute devastation. And uh, the Bath side, Harland are six points. He's let them down there, in my opinion. He's let them down. It's interesting that the Bath are playing 
quite a defensive formation and Haaland and just another striker are up front are just doing the best they can their XG for Bath was actually a lot better but that, that doesn't really mean anything is he still no he's not I was going to say is he still vice captain no he's not his captain now he's, he's been given captain duties now I think because he's got a long term contract the squad's going to change quite a lot throughout the season there's not that many players here by the way Bath have you considered that maybe but like the quality of play he's not the most played uh, Jerome Sinclair's here so they've signed Jerome Sinclair formerly of Liverpool they had he sort of jumped out at me. He's also been to Watford for four million pounds. Is now on a free at Bath after some loan spells in Bulgaria. Um, I mean that's yeah. Well, uh, well. So Jerome Sinclair and Haaland, you'd think would be superstars at this level. So in the best eleven, the Bath best eleven. <laughs> I'm not surprised, but it's still funny to look at. So you can see there, Haaland's got a seven point seven nine, sixty nine goals in eighty three games. That is. The, in terms of average rating, that's up there. Oh, better. He's doing quite well, though. I mean, he's he's doing he's having a shift here. He's, have, he's having a shift. Having a shift. Do you have a shift? All right, let's go forward another year. They did well. Where are they predicted to finish next season? That's what I know. Fourth now. Okay, so that first season. Of course, they're going to make some signings over the summer, you'd suspect. But really, we're here to see what Harland's up to. Uh, his value, by the way, is still around the 30 million mark. I'm interested if that starts to drop a little bit. Should it drop a little bit? I don't know. I'd like to know what the rest of the footballing world think about this. They can't... It's appalling, really. All right, back to Haaland's bath time, and it's a very similar situation. £31 million still there. He's not declining in attributes at all, it feels like. I wish I could kind of see this previously. I think I'd have to become bath manager for this, as... Um, They've not done it again, but a, a better season this year. He's growing now, he's ageing. 44 appearances for Bath. I think that suggests a further playoff run. 35 uh, goals, 10 assists, 16 playoff matches. Pretty similar to last season, but let's take a look at Bath then, as um, they've not done it. So last year was a sixth, this year a third. You take a look at the season last year. 85 points. They were goal difference away from it. Goals scored, they're exactly the same. They conceded two goals and it didn't push them into... Actually, no, no. No, no, no. Sorry. It's not automatic spots, is it? Barrow have won the playoff, I think. But they're very, very close to Barrow. Let's, again, let's take a quick look at last season. Um, they had a really good... Have, it's funny, they have quite a strong start. And then that middle period there is costing them four one ones in a row. That's never going to do you any good. And uh, the back end of the season... Semi final of the playoff, Solly Hallmore's penalties beat them. Then a 3 2. Oh no, did Haaland have an impact this time? Surely. I mean, Bath's XG is 3.75. That's that's madness, in my opinion. Haaland with a 7.2. And I can't, how have they not won? They've had six clear cut chances, three half chances, and they've not won the game. Oh, dear. Erling, what have you done? I need to see if Erling Haaland has had some like mega chances that have not gone in here. Annoyingly, the shots thing here isn't isn't working. Okay, well that's annoying. All right, can we see scoring chances? Any chance? No, I think maybe because we weren't at the game, we can't see the analytic review for it, which is frustrating. Um, but you can see they've been fully xG'd there, and this was a season they probably felt like that had to be their year. I mean, I'm going to assume he was top goal scorer again. I want to, but by what distance? 35 goals to 23. There's a bit of a gap developing. Andrew Nelson's still crushing it, by the way. I mean, the story of Andrew Nelson, that's the next experiment will be about him. Okay, let's go another year in the future. They're, they're, they're getting close, it feels like Bath, but they're not quite there. Season preview has them second now. Is this the year? Bolton are in the National League now. Bolton, blimey. All right, then, here we are back again. 47 games. He's playing more games every single year. More play of the match awards. Less assist this year from Erling. He's a little bit more selfish. And his lowest average rating, despite scoring the most amount of goals. So, figure that out. Uh, but, I can see Sky Bet League 2. So, Bath have done it. They've cleaned up their act. It's a Bath. It's a Bath-related moment there. Oh, wow. This is not how I thought they would have done it. Bath, fifth place. Won the playoffs. And... 77 points. It's a very tight league table. I've sort of only just got in the playoffs. All right, let's, let's see exactly how they did it. I think, again, we can probably assume Haaland, yeah, had a pretty good year. He's gone from 29 to 35 to 39 goals this season. He's he's doing the business. All right, but let's delve a little deep. He's still still captain, still doing it. Have they kept the same manager the whole time, actually? That's quite interesting. I've not, you know, I've not thought about that until now. Yeah, Haaland is definitely keeping this man in the job. Six years. He could be there forever. Imagine if he's there as long as Haaland is. That would be actually very interesting. But with, with them doing well, I wonder if the expectations at Bath will continue to, to rise. That's, that's my big question mark, really. 
because it's taken them a long time, even with Haaland, to get out of this scenario. Like, I, I thought his goals would just be enough to propel. So it sort of says, doesn't it, that if you're playing lower league saves, that just one good striker won't always be enough. It might be eventually, but it won't always be enough. Right, let's see how they did it then. It was, of course, the playoffs. Um, I don't know if they're going on any cup runs or anything like that. You'd think, again, with Haaland, they probably would be. Now, knocked out there to Harrogate. Just to check previous years, because I've not really been focusing on the cup runs so much. Um, they had a Van Arma National playoff final. I don't know what we're talking about. Nothing there. Lost to Sutton year before that. They're getting knocked out pretty early in the FA Cup. So, uh, first round defeat to Lincoln in that one. But here we go, and let's see just how they did it then as uh, Van Arama play off first round because they finished a little bit lower in the playoffs this time. Filed a bit in 2 1, then a 3 1 against Bolton. Big result, massive result. Did Haaland uh, make his mark? Felt, yeah, two goals in that game, finally in the playoffs doing something. And then finally, penalty shootout against Solly Hall Moore's danger zones viewers. But Haaland scores his penalty, doesn't get a goal in the game though. Um, puts in a 6.7. It's interesting. It, it feels like having a 6 uh, 7.62, there's obviously been games where he has done just nothing, absolutely nothing for a player of his quality. And what's also interesting in this, and it would have like partially killed it, but he's not had any injuries. He's been completely injury free, it feels like. He's had a little one there for six weeks, which might have impacted Bath season a little bit. But generally, He's been, he's been injury-free. I say impact Bath season a little bit. It's probably a major blow when he's not there. So, so far for Bath, 23, 29, 35. 30. It's going up, viewers. It's going up every single season. <laughs> All right, final season we're going to look at today. Uh, first season in the Sky Bet League 2. Where are they predicted to finish? I always find this quite interesting. Newport is like 10th already. And, of course, makes it straight into the team. Imagine if he didn't get in the Dream 11. Who are the strikers? He's next to um, Hadibi, I, I think you'd say it. He looks, he's got seven finishing, which is not the same. He's at a regen. Oh, hello. All right, final year. Let's take a look at what he's been up to. Uh, still still in his contract, locked in. £34 million right now. Um, where do we go first? Do we look at Harlan? Let's, let's see what he did this season. Oh, it's always come down, viewers. It's come down. Everything's come down, actually. Um, so again, playing at a higher division now. I suspect he's probably kept... We've gone to June this time, so we can probably take a look at a little bit more detail in this final season at what's been going on at Bath. As you can see, they've got a full squad now, which is quite nice. If we look at selection info here... We can see the the uh, right. They are being. This is not a surprise to any of us viewers. They are being carried. I saw Reese James then. I thought surely not. No, not the same Reese James. So thirty goals for Harland. Um, a seven point four three. They finished. Well, they finished pretty much where I was expected. They have finished tenth in the league table. Uh, with 29 goals, a 7.48. Again, clearly the best player in the division. Loads of player of the match awards. But he couldn't quite carry them further up. But will this now mean that Bath will be able to attract better players? Or will Haaland become the best League 2 striker in history by never being able to get quite out of that? Again, what we're going to check to, to, to round off this video is what have Bath been doing in terms of landmarks? Because other than appointing Haaland captain... Uh, their chairman, Nick Blofeld, wins a second term in the elections. Steve Powell has taken over. They've not had an actual like, takeover. They've turned professional, which obviously will allow them to do other things. And Haaland's contract is going to look more and more kind of ridiculous as he's suddenly now quite down low. The oh, but, oh, actually, no, no, no. His contract's been going up. This is wonderful. Hang on a minute here. He's got a relegation release fee, but somehow... And I don't know how, but his contract's gone up and he's got a remaining loyalty bonus of 41000 and he's got an appearance fee and a goal bonus. How has it gone up? I wonder if when they turn professional, the contract changed ever so slightly. Because I've not changed it. I've not got the in-game editor selected here. So I can only assume... I don't know what to assume. He's wangled himself an extra 300 quid a week. Which you've got to kind of respect the hustle from Haaland. Haaland's hustle, we could call this video. But there we are then, 29 goals. It has come down. It's very similar, actually, to his first season in a new division. So there's maybe some parallels to draw there. 29 goals again. Uh, any injuries for Haaland? I don't think so, based on, no, not an, not an injury at all. The, his ability to stay fit might be one of the reasons why he's going to be one of the stars of world football for many years to come. You think about Ronaldo and Messi. They've had knocks and injuries here and there, but generally speaking, to have the records that they've got, they've stayed fit the whole time. And if it's going to be this Haaland and Mbappe battle throughout the next few years, then I guess we're going to see who's who's got who's got it. Who's, who is going to be that next man? The, the mantelpiece is there, right? Neymar is sort of still behind Messi and Ronaldo. It feels like there's a few other players in the conversation, but these two young strikers that are 
it's so exciting to watch. Uh, definitely the future of world football. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll end things there and then we'll come back for five more years of Haaland. Uh, we'll get to 2030 and we'll see just how far he'll take Bath. Of course, him being at this team, him being a weapon within this side might attract other players to think, I want to go and be a part of Bath City's Bath Time Adventure. Anyway, that's going to bring us to the end. If you've enjoyed this, do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe. Loads of Football Manager content, content coming. Doing far more experiments this year. Little things like this. Basically, anything that I think is fun. And I think putting Haaland at Bath, again, it's not... Ex like People have done these experiments for years. I haven't. So for me, coming in and doing them now... It's actually quite exciting to do things that I've never done and I now kind of see why people did them in the first place because they are actually quite interesting. We'll see how far he can go. It's really interesting to me that they spent three years in the Vanarama National and he, even with his goals, he couldn't be forced out. How big an impact will he have in the next five years and then five years after that? Well, there's only one way to find out again. Stay subscribed and I'll see you very soon. We love with care from me. Until next time, see you again. Goodbye.